Okay, the first thing we need to do is make sure that you're using a version of Serato Scratch Live 1.82 or above. After that, we've got to copy the XML file into the MIDI folder of Serato. The XML file stores all the MIDI configuration for Serato Scratch Live. We've already done that for you, don't worry. Now, how to locate this file on the Mac? You want to open up your finder. After you open up your finder, you're going to look for your home directory, which is the computer's name with a house right in front of it. So just look for the house. Um, within there, you're going to find a folder called Stanton the Router. Within that folder, you're going to see Serato Scratch Live presets. And there you're going to see the XML file. It's SSL SES 3D V100.XML. Now, you want to copy that file. Now, we want to back out into your home directory and locate your music folder. Within the music folder, you're going to see the Serato folder. And then you'll see the MIDI folder. So go ahead and paste that XML file into the MIDI folder. So now that we've got the XML file where it needs to be, we're going to go ahead and configure Scratch Live so that it can properly read the file. The first thing you want to do is open up the program and then click the Setup tab. Once you click the Setup tab, you want to go to MIDI. In there, you should see the SES.3D file. You want to click on that and load it. It should change colors to let you know that the file has been loaded properly. Now that you've done that, you want to click Setup again to enter the main screen of Scratch Live. 